pockets. Let me tell you about food pockets. <laughs> We're going to take us to the stars. All right. All right. All right. So he wants a soup, but there's no soup. That is the need. You walk down the street, you want some soup, you don't got no soup. You got work, you want some soup, you don't got no soup. You say to yourself, I wish there was a way I could keep soup with me. A place I could put soup. <laughs> soup pockets. <laughs> don't worry about it. You folks know anything about modular pants? Because that's what soup pockets is all about. You take these sleeves of rubber, line your pockets with them. Soup pockets. <laughs> You can put a different soup in each and every pocket. Maybe you want a tomato on the left, chicken noodle on the right. Gotta have my variety. What's my back left pocket? Pasta fajoule. What's my back right pocket? Wallet? No. Miss Throne. Whatever soup you want, just go for it. Soup pockets. Hey, hey. You got plenty of soups you like? Can't fit them all in your pockets? Don't worry about it. Switch it up every day. That's what I do. Except on Mondays. Mondays? How you meet Paul. All right. Front left pocket? Italian meatball. Front right pocket, Italian meatball. Back left pocket, Italian meatball. Back right pocket, spurting with Italian meatball. I keep them all at different temperatures, so I can have perfectly heated soup every time of the day. I got a tepid in my left, got warm in my front right, hot in my back left, scalding in my back right. I can't sit down anymore. Don't worry about it. That's the price you gotta pay for soup. Soup pockets. Like you're gonna use spoons? Nah, nah. Got straws for that. So into the linings of my shirt. Shirt straws. That's a different product. Don't worry about it. They talk about suit pockets. And, uh, you know, suit pockets aren't just the pants. You got a shirt pocket, right? Wrong. Got another suit pocket. Let me show you how this works. So easy. Just open the pocket. Mm, delicious soup. <laughs> gallons of soup on your head. Soup hat. Can't afford cologne? Don't worry about it. Smell like soup. Best smell there is. Your wife will love it. Mine didn't. I told her, Marlene, you gotta support my dream, my dream of soup pockets. She says, Frankie, I can't call you slosh when you walk. Marlene, don't worry about it. She says, Marlene, don't bring your back on me. She said, take that cream <laughs> I say, Marlene, it's a Monday. You know what I have in each and every one of my soup pockets on Monday. She didn't say anything, she just left. But that's all right. I didn't worry about it. I just know that I'm destined for bigger things, you know, and superior minds like us, Soup pockets are going to take us to the stars. <laughs> now, you might ask, what are we going to eat on the way to the stars? No food in space. Well, stars, no. We brought our own food in our pockets. <laughs> you know how? Soup pockets. Soup pockets! So, you astrologers are going to say it's too cold in space, we're going to freeze. Not when our pockets are all full of scalding hot soup. <laughs> There's no gravity in space, Frankie. How are we gonna get the pocket, the soup from our pockets to a mouth? Don't worry about it. Just open up your pocket, the soup will waft out, form little globules, soup spheres. We're gonna take soup to the stars. Feed the soup to the stars. The stars are gonna love us. Dr. Centauri has never had a Italian meatball. We go to space on a Monday, in my dream. Now, you folks wanna know why I only have Italian meatball on Monday? Because the world's a scary place. You heard what those guys were talking about? Superfoods, ghosts, the fusion, that's crazy stuff! Man's gotta have something he can rely on. Something that he knows won't walk out on his life. <laughs> so six days a week, I train myself, get myself prepared for the unpredictability, the chaos, but on the seventh day, I rest. <laughs> With an Italian meatball in my soup pockets. <laughs> and I don't worry about it. You know, I, I have a dream. Another dream, other than feeding soup to size, this one's a real honest to God sleeping pipe dream. And in this dream, I see people on the streets. 
I know. I don't know how, but I know that they're full of soup. <laughs> and I go up to them. And I take them strong. <laughs> and I kiss them on the lips, tender like. And I taste the soup that's on them and in them. And, and everyone's different. Every person has a different soup inside of them. You know, the greatest spice of all is humanity. <laughs> some nights, some nights, I find that one woman. The one person in the whole world who's right for me. And I go up to her, and I take her strong, and I kiss her, and she is gushing with Italian makeup. <laughs> and that's how I know. But, but then I always wake up. I never see her face. I go on for the kiss too quick, so I don't know who she is. I mean, that's why we're all here today, isn't it? We go on for the taste too quick. Yeah? <laughs> but that's how love is. You go on too fast, and you lose it all. But even if I lose everything else, and I have, Still got one thing. Soup pockets. Soup pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have them too. Thank you.